testing has started. So hello, um, welcome to the just short update on MI and Kibesh's uh, statistics uh, analysis and merge action. So in previous demo, we uh, talked about uh, uh, collecting all the statistics for Kibesh at uh, usage uh, in the GitHub repositories. And now when we have all, all the information stored, uh, we want to merge that statistics to be to be uh, specific for a for a given day, so you can have a, uh, indicators for that day uh, how well the KB should perform. perform. Um, I'm going to share screen. Share screen. Can you see the screen? Yes. Okay. Um, where do I have that? Yes. So uh, the so previously larger, come on larger sure. larger yes yes good enough no I think so so previously we had a uh, so basically we we uh, collected the pull requests and issue entities for Kebeshet. Uh, specifying the dash e pull request uh, comma uh, issue, and then we when when we when we have that uh, data available, we do a Kibeshet, uh metrics calculation or Kibeshet analysis calculation, which just takes those and take, takes those entities and makes some stats about it, and then we ha we want to merge it, so we can use a new option uh, called merge or or simply abbreviation uh, M. And the way that it works is that we store the, the, the knowledge, the um, statistics of issues and pull requests there should be stored under a specific path. And it is, it is, it is specified by the namespace, the data aggregation is run, so test core now. Uh, and uh, then it is stored as line metrics and the uh, update manager. So it's it's not still all the information here because uh, I'm trying to uh, some just fix some things so that the data is consistent and also the statistics are consistent. And when when this is done, uh, another cron job is run and it's the merge cron job, and that just basically calls. Uh, I'm sorry. Yes, it basically calls the MI with uh, Doth and Merge option, so that we know we want to merge Doth uh, data. So in this case, Kebeshe data. And the stats, the merge stats are saved for a specific day, for the today's date, in JSON. And uh, right now there there's no not much knowledge to uh, here because I only tested here or only for some repositories and they don't have uh, uh, they they honestly don't use don't use Kibisha because they I, I think they are quite uh, small and and it's convenient for me because they are small and I, I can test it out if it works or not and <clears throat> yes each 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 uh, each file, each data aggregation has a timestamp, and it is available under the under the top SLI metrics Kibbeshit Update Manager. And this uh, basically makes aggreg uh, aggregation of all uh, recursive ag aggregation of uh, everything that is stored under the uh, the Kibbeshit Update Manager. So uh, under every Directory and every directory is meant specifically for every organization or team we analyze now. And uh, yeah, maybe a quick update. We uh, I'm I'm gonna change that now because I didn't previously thought about it, but uh, right now it seems clear that we don't want to launch a cron job uh, for a for a daily. 
uh, analysis for today's analysis, but for uh, analysis of a previous day, so you have all the data available. Because when you when you launch uh, analysis for today's date, you can miss some information that happens after the analysis. So right now, if I would launch analysis at 4 p.m., that there can be something that happens like at the 20, 20, uh, uh, 20 hours, so 8 p.m. And yeah, this is a, essential. So the chrono jobs will are going to be changed. And right now, the idea would be that the uh, the Kebeshet, uh, an, uh data extraction will be launched at midnight. For a previous day, so you you, you know you, you're going to inspect all the all the information that is available, and the merge action would then be called uh, after midnight at, at some time. So yeah, that's just a mm, an overview of how the chrome jobs would be scheduled. Good. Any questions uh, to Dominic? Thanks for that one.